Today, Orlando police announced they've arrested two more teens in connection to a drive-by shooting last week that left two people dead, including a six-year-old girl. There are now a total of four suspects in this case, all of them 18 and younger. In our latest Saving Our Streets report, West 2's Marlene Martinez joins us in the studio after talking with community leaders. I spoke with the head of Orange County's Credible Messenger program. These are people who have grown from tough times, have street cred, and now mentor to the youth. Your name, sir? Ricky Bory. On Wednesday, 18-year-old Ricky Bowery appeared in court for the first time since last week's deadly drive-by shooting on Poppy Avenue, where a mother and daughter were shot in their home. The six-year-old girl died. A 19-year-old man was also shot and killed. He was arrested for the charge of first-degree murder with a firearm. Bowery is now one of four teenagers that Orlando police have arrested on a first-degree homicide charge. The others two 17-year-olds and a 15-year-old. We're not naming them because of their age. We do have some credible messengers out there right now that are working with that situation. And On Wednesday, I checked in with Ruben Saldana, the head of Orange County's Credible Messenger Program. He runs Gloves Up, Guns Down to prevent kids from killing each other. They're scared. Uh, uh, one scared and, and the other one's glad they're scared, right? So there's a beef online. Uh, there's a beef. Most of the time it's about girlfriends, right? Or a rap verse set out there. While Ruben and other youth groups are trying to stop the shootings, he says they need help. We need to start making the parents the heroes again, right? Uh, when a kid's out of line, uh, 930 up right here on OBT selling dope or doing the wrong thing, we need to be able to pick up the phone and say, yo, your son's out there or your daughter's out there doing the wrong thing. Not 911. They should be the first responders, not the police, the parents. I also reached out to State Attorney Andrew Bain's office to see if the three juveniles will be charged as adults. And we heard back in just the last hour, a statement from the office reads in part, gang and gun violence in our community will not be tolerated and will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Additionally, when the facts require resolutions outside the capacity of the Department of Juvenile Justice, State Attorney Bain will treat dangerous juveniles as adults. Michelle. All right.